Well, the waiting is finally over. Azonto time is now time. It's your call. It's Richard Comey, 17 wins, 17 knockouts, versus Gary Buckland, a former British super featherweight champion, a former super featherweight prize fighter champion, up at lightweight, coming off the back of two wars with former world champion Gavin Reese. This could be a cracker, man. Eh? This could be a cracker. 17 year 17 record with them KOs from Comedy. Uh, he's gonna come to he's gonna come to fight, but, but he always comes to fight. It's gonna be a cracker. The thing I would say notice and notice that the way in yesterday is the size difference between Comey and Buckland. Comey is so much more bigger at the weight, and obviously we said that it's Gary Buckland coming up from Super Feather into into the lightweight division and as he did against Gavin Reese, but the size difference is immense, isn't it? Ooh. A great shot there. A right hand from Comey just falling short. And Comey, although 17 punches, he's not a concussive one knockout specialist. He's just relentless from what yeah. he It's just constant. Accumulation of punches just breaks you down. So over 12 rounds, it's hot in here. A nice right hand from Buckland just over the top there. Seems nice and calm. Buckland, it's a, Comey, it's a couple of shots. You see that left hook coming. Nice slip from Comey there. Mixed reactions from Comey. I've heard people different stories from Comey sparring. Some say he's the real deal. Some say he should be avoided. Others said that they think he's good, but maybe not as good as some people have said. And that's why this fight is so good. We'll find out, won't we, man? It's, it's, it's been mixed, mixed in the boxing crowd too. They're saying, um, you know, is, is it is it that Comey's that good or he's not fought anyone? But I think the, the win against Paul Truscott is yeah. a brilliant win. Yeah, it was a brilliant win against Truscott and. I say everyone he's made sort of quit on their stall and some good shots there from Comey and that's why this is such a good fight because Buckland is a very live opponent. You know, I say, you know, it was one each against him and Gavin Reese and they were split decisions both times. So it went close, really, really, you know, he's pushed a former world champion thing and you know he has been hurt before, he has been knocked out and he has lost Gary Buckland. So he can be hit and he can be hurt. And he comes back when he got stopped badly by uh, Stephen Smith and he come back after that and did things so you know it's just a proper fighter isn't he yeah, it's a proper fighting man and I can't believe how quiet is in here it's been a it's been a packed venue and some of it's cleared out here as well it is. isn't it some some have gone but it's made it a little bit cooler which is good certainly good for Buckland from 
Garner, Comey from Garner. Just get caught with a right hand there. I think um, Comey would prefer further hit. He just gets caught with a right hand again. Just rocked him back. He's been caught with a few with that. And this is what we like. We're about to see. And here goes Comey with a couple of shots there. Just throwing it in. And I said there's been mixed, mixed reactions from people. People saying it's going to be Buckland. People saying it's going to be Comey. And it's been a real split on fight. And who have you got up in the first round, Monet, so far? So far, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to Comey, but the thing is, Buckland's had some good shots, the eye-catching shots. The cleaner work perhaps has been from Buckland, isn't he? The, you know, the couple of right hands he's got through, and that's better from Comey, and that's what he does. He catches him with a left hook there and a winging right hands, and just overstretches that one, and Buckland nearly catches him again with a left hook. End of the first round, a very even round for me, that one. He's been a real You've got it for Comey. Who have you got up in the first round, Mene, so far? So you score that to Comey, that one, Mene, do you? Go either way, you know? The cleaner work, perhaps. It's a close fight, it's a close round. I'd score that pretty much a draw, I think, in my views. It's tough, isn't it? Buckland got in with a few good shots. Okay, let us know if you're still watching at home, BoxingEvolution.tv. Give us a tweet at Boxing Evolution. Let us know how you're scoring it throughout the fight. It is for the vacant Commonwealth title. That's why Buckland stayed up at the lightweight, at a crack of the Commonwealth title. Obviously, it was vacated by Derry Matthews, which I know is a fight they wanted to make between Commie and Derry Matthews, but we've got Buckland versus Comey and I say I think that could be that, that first round could be a draw round. So we go round two. Just missing with the right hand there from Comey. Bang to the body. Nice right hand from Buckland. Three shots, four right hands then. Second two getting in, some good body work from Comey. Four shots back from Buckland. I've got a feeling this is going to warm up into a nice one. Yes, it's yes. a good shot. Missing with the right hand, Buckland there. A nice big right hand again from Common. I can see what people mean about the relentless. In burst, he's thrown and just off balance there. Balance like there. Certainly got the crown that it will give Buckland some confidence to it see in there. And he gets through with a right hand there. Turned the head of Comey there. Interesting to see how it warms up. A nice body work there from Comey. And the right hand to the body. Nice right hand again. Just falling short of that jab, Buckland. Switching stance just very, very briefly. A couple of shots there. So a couple, some people thought that one did with the two fights with Gavin Reese. Mene might have taken a lot out of, out of Buckland. You know, he fought Gavin in May and then again before that in February. So. He's not had an easy year. He hasn't, but at the same time, that's good experience for him. Um, Comey's not had the experience that Gary, Gary Butler has had. And um, like I say again, he to get it stopped how he did against Steve Simmons and come back strong from that. You know, he's, he's proved he's got a lot of heart. So obviously Comey's had 14 of his 17 fights in Ghana, and that's the thing we don't know. And I think that's the question mark over Comey is obviously a lot of his fights have been in Ghana. We don't know how good the opposition was. He's had three fights in the UK. Two of his three UK opponents he had winning, rec winning records, Chris Hughes and Paul Trussett. Oh, a right hand from Buckland there, and Comey just misses, and he gets caught with the right hand again. He's got be careful. That right hand's caught him a good, a good couple of times already, early in the fight. Jabs there, and again with the right hand. He's getting some success with that right hand, Buckland. And a right hand of his own there, Comey, just rocking Buckland. And a jab again. And he gets caught with the right hand again, Comey. His left hand is just a tad low and he's throwing that right hand over the top. Buckland's dipping down to his left and just winging that right hand over the top as he's getting some success from it. At one point he threw about four in a row and there was an unanswered defence, you know. Gets the right hand again, he gets the left hook as well, back comes Comey. It's another close round, man, isn't it? It's another, another close, close round. round. Again, Comey Buckland getting in there. Comey needs to get on a jab and box him. Right Got hand again from Buckland. He's, he's, he's trying to get in there and get a bit greedy with the shots. And around to who did you score that to?
Scoring it, man. How you got it so far? I say, but like you were just saying, I think he just edged that one. He's um, he, he's finding a, a, a right hand too often, too soon in the fight. I've got the first round of draw, and I've got the second round to Buckland there. I just think he edged it with just a cleaner work, just some punches landed. I think he just edged that round, and on my card certainly we're going to the third round, and I've got Commy. One round down with one round of draw, and I think you scoring it the same. Nice left hook from Comey there, though. It's a close fight. Again, it's what you like. That's a nice right hand from Comey. That's better from Comey. And this is where we'll see the relentless of him. That's all going on. It's rocks Buckland a bit there. That was better from Comey. A lot better. He used a circle, circle to his right to avoid Buckland's right hand. He's walked onto it a few, a few times. That's a better body shot from Comey. You hear the crowd shout. Yes, lovely, lovely right hand to the body there. You're right, man. He needs to move to his right more, doesn't he? Away from Buckland's right hand. He tends to be moving more clockwise, doesn't he? All round to that, that right hand. Yeah. Buckland comes back the body shots of his own. But Buckland's a tough guy, you know? He's a tough kid. He can take a shot. And obviously, he did have that highlight real knockout against Stephen Smith. But, you know, that was a... Uh, just a punch that happens sometimes. It's not like Buckland's got a, a weak chin. He's at 32 fights. He's only been stopped twice. He's operated at a high, high level. Well, he fought, he fought a world title challenger in, in uh, John Murray. Absolutely, so. yeah. John Murray's the, the other one that obviously came off the loss for him. And he's 28 years old, Buckland, as well. So he's still relatively you know, young in terms yeah. of his career. And be interesting good work there from Buckland just backing him up working the body now trying to chop that big long body of Comey gets him with that right hand over the top just missing there the right hand and back comes Comey with the right hand back comes Buckland but on the gloves of Comey this is better good work this is where Buckland really wants it his height doesn't make any difference when it's up close but I think Comey's had the best round so far I think I've got Comey ahead so far in this round I think he's doing well I think he's finding his own right hand a bit more regularity, Mene. Mm -hmm. If you was in Comey's corner, would you be happy with Comey up against the ropes and Buckland in close, or no, would you I'd like him a bit longer? I'd like him a bit longer, and I'd like him not to get so um, fiery back. As he, as he, he lands land a shot against himself from Buckland, he's coming back too quick. Good work there from Buckland. Right hand and left hook, and Comey took it well. And he seems quite happy to stay on the ropes yeah, then. This is where he doesn't want to be. Can't utilise his height here. And Buckland will be able to... Good body shot there. And that's good from Common. That's the relentless they talked about. Just made Buckland just stop for a second. But he needs to move out. Turn him on. In comes Buckland again. Back with the right hand from Comey. Buckland's got him up against the ropes, winging the hooks in. Comey seems quite happy to sit there. End of the round. And I've got that as a round to Comey. I thought Comey did better there. No, a better round from Comey that time, Mene. Right, I'm going to do that little bit. So round four coming up. Referee's just having some vast wiped off of Comey's face there. 
I've got it even going into the fourth. Mene, I've got the first round of draw. Second round, Buckland. Third round, Comey. I think Comey landed his right hand better there in the, in the third round. Yeah, I think he's just, he's just um, starting to find his range a bit more. Um, but at the same time, he's still got to be weary of that right hand and he's still, he's still circling to his left. He should be circling to his right to avoid the right hand. Exchange of big right hands there and good movement there from Buckling. Come here looking for that long right hand. He likes that long, he does. long straight right hand. He likes to pull the left hook back off of it. I like Comey to throw a stiffer jab too. Like when he brings back the jab, sometimes the right hand's coming over the top. Just like that there, just find the one to listening to you, man. It's like you're piped into him then. <laughs> but you're right, he's got nice long arms, he's got good good feet and he could sort of ram rub that job in yeah, ram rub that jab in the face of Buckland. But he seems quite happy to sit on the ropes. I don't know whether he's trying to let Buckland punch himself out a bit sort of rope a dope style and he seems quite content to stay there. His corner of clash of heads there. Now that was a clash of heads that we see. I know there was, we were talking off air about the Freddie Turner, Chris Edgedua fight. There was some people saying it was a clash of heads, some people saying it was a punch. Nice right hand from Buckland there. Just switching to the stance there from Buckland and Nice two shots from Comey, but gets one back from Buckland. Just got a feeling with this that it could all of a sudden take take a light, could ignite the touch plate with this one, and this could go off. Oh, Mene. Both applying good pressure. It's a tough round to score this one. It's very, very it's close. Another close round. It's another close round. No one's really done anything of note in this round. It makes it difficult to score. Nice little uppercut from Comey there, but just fell short. Couple of double jabs. This is better from Comey. He's picking a bit more. But not a lot of it's clean. It's sort of not getting through, really, is it? It's kind of, uh, you know, Comey's taking the shots nicely. It'd be interesting to see what Gary Buckland's got left as well. So that's a very close round. Coming to the last 30 seconds of the round. It's hard to pick a winner of this it round. Is. Ref having a word about the thing, Gary Buckland pushing the referee out of the way to get to Comey. Missing with the left hook. Carries his hands low, Comey, doesn't he? He's obviously confident in his chin because he swings his, his hands from his hips rather than keeping a, you know, his, a textbook hands up style. Carries that left low as you mentioned earlier, Mene. He does, he carries it very low. How did you score that one? Another tight run, you know. I mean, there's people saying they thought Comey was going to come on and the pressure going to put on Buckland later on. But, you know, that's the kind of style that Buckland has and, you know, that could work both ways. And I think that's why this fight has attracted the attention. There's nice shots there from Buckland just on the way out and a left hook there. That's why I think this fight has drawn the attention purely because you can make arguments of both ways. Yeah, you, can. you know, Buckland can box, he can fight, and so can Comey. And uh, you know that, that's why you, you, I keep changing my mind with this this fight. One day I would think Comey would get it. Next day I think Buckland had, had operated at a higher level than he had. And you know it's difficult to tell. But how did you score that last round? There's another tight, another, another tight round. The, the, the round is so close you could pick, you could pick up a fight up. I I put it as a draw just purely because I don't think anyone did enough to win a nice right hand from Buckland. And again from Buckland, just get that right hand in, but a right hand back from Comey himself. 
Yeah, I just don't think anyone necessarily won that round. I don't think anyone lost it, but I don't think anyone won it either. It. And they both seem to be applying each other's shots as well. A lot of it's been on the gloves as well, isn't it? There's not been lots and lots clean. Commie's had success with the sort of the right straight or the right hook, almost sort of the hook in the right last minute. And Buckland's had some success with that dipping over to the left and throwing the bolo shot over the top. So just as it goes there. I'd like to see Buckland maybe go to the body, try and chop the long body of Commie, try and slow him down that way. And again, Commie, I'd like to just see him again, just see that whip that right hand in and just keep popping that jab out and whip that right hand of Commie round just to get round the left glove of, of Buckland. And Buckland comes back with a right hand again. It's just another tough, tight another round. Another tight round. And if he is Gary Buckland keeps pushing Commie back onto the ropes, but Commie seems to be happy to sit there and ride the shot and throw him back. Uppercut from Comey just missing there and Buckland's keeping him. It's, it's, it's like kind of like a sustained pressure, isn't it? That's it. It's like Comey's waiting to come through off the count with a shot. Good shots from Comey again. They all just sort of pop, pop shots and back comes Buckland again. Again, interesting fight. A quick switch from Comey now. Switches to South Pole but decided to switch it back and. Buckland's doing well at restricting Commie's movement, isn't he? Just getting him back to the ropes. He's working well for throwing a double there. It's a good fight, just exchanging hooks there, just missing each other. Who's a good this round to so far? It's just tight. It's just really tight, I think. Buckland's pushing forward. He's not the aggressor. I'd probably give that one to Comey, I just think he landed the cleanest shots. That's a tight round, but I think I'd give that one to Comey. I've got Comey just one ahead. Boxing fans like their boxing, so if you get the opportunity to watch watch both, then fair play. And that's the beauty about the industry these days and the technology we have that we can watch two shows. Obviously, we're lucky enough to be streaming tonight via Boxing Evolution TV, and obviously the Sky bringing a card from Liverpool. So I'm glad you boxing fans out there tonight are getting. So here we go, round six. And you say Commie's up by a round? I've got Commie up by a round. I scored the first round as a draw. I give the second round to Buckland. I give the third round to Commie. I give the fourth for draw and I give the fifth round to Commie. So I'll be interesting to see how it goes on. Nice body shot there from Commie. That was a lovely shot. Buckland comes back with a shot of his own. Just missing there with the... Starting to warm up a bit now, I think it's going to start to open. That's another good body oh, shot from, shot. I think that hurt Buckland. He dropped his hands down straight away to protect the ribs. As soon as Gary Buckland's got a type of body, what doesn't look conditioned, but he's fit as anything. That's right, he's never a guy that comes in that's absolutely ripped, is he? He's not, you know, popping muscles all over the place, yeah. but he's always fit. You, you know, he, he's always on weight. He's always really, really fit. Nice right hand there, yeah. last one too. Just missing there with the left uppercut, Commie. Just falling short of that right hand there. Countering the left hook, but blocked by Buckland there. And a nice left of the body there from Buckland. Good body shot from Buckland. Again, the rounds are just so close, aren't they? Both are having success every round. But it seems like he's turning a bit in the sense that Buckland was pushing back Commie. Now Commie's holding the centre. Yeah, it's a good point, man. Eh? It's a, you know the first few rounds we see Comey against the ropes, and that hasn't happened so much in this round. Maybe Buckland's starting to feel the pace. That's it. And this is what Comey wanted. And that's why Comey with those body shots, it's slowly breaking down. But or maybe Buckland could be mindful, more experienced over the 12-round distance. Maybe just you know, it's quite often fighters have the middle rounds off. 
That's it. It's more relentless from Kami. That's more than what we heard. We, we hear that Kami is a relentless fighter. We haven't seen it as much. I think we're starting to see it a bit now. And back comes Kami. But he catches a right hand from Buckland there. And you're right, Buckland certainly isn't driving him back so much now. Clash of heads there. Nice left hook from Comey there. How have you got this one, Mene? I say Comey so far this round. Yeah, I've got Comey ahead so far. Could change. Got about 20 seconds left to go. And a nice right hand from Buckland there, straight down the middle. Just seems to make Comey just take half a step back. Jabs again from Kami. Right hand again, but on the gloves of Kami that time. Another tight round, but I think Kami edged that one just slightly. So we've got him two rounds ahead. So again, yeah, great as Matt said, thanks for keep tweeting, keep keep tweeting us, let us know how you've got it. We've got Kami two rounds ahead, or I've got Kami two rounds ahead. How about yourself, Mene? Yeah, I, I think that too. I think, I think um, Kami's um, just starting to get his, to get his feet in there now. Nice right hand straight away from Buckland. Just seemed to rock the legs of Kami in again. He just seemed to catch a second right hand. Kami looking for that left hook to the body. Well, it looks like um, Gary Buckland got that rest round. Now he's come out, he's realised that round he gave away. And he wants to step it back up again. Yeah, very much. It's a great start to the round. Winged that right hand over, and like I say, he's had some success with that right hand. I suppose that would be my worry if, if Richard Comey does win this fight and he does go on to world level, which I know people expect he could do. He's got to be careful. He does get caught with that right hand. And Buckland, although a good season pro, isn't really known as a puncher. Only nine KOs in 28 wins. So he's not really a, a punch out knocker. That's a nice right hand from, and he seems to have Buckland hurt a bit here. And this is where he's in. He catches the left hook back and Buckland's looking for the short counters back and Comey's coming forward, showing the relentless that he does. And what a great thing, he's taking some shots. Right. Buckland's still in there with some good lateral movement there. And that was a good burst from both fighters there. Good burst, very good burst. Comey showed what people think he could do there and he's rocking Buckland back now and he's stepping in. Buckland's still looking for them short counters, so Comey's got to be careful. Now, Comey pushing Buckland against the rope. That's a great shot to the body. Buckland's inviting him in. Buckland's still throwing back. Right hand again, and Buckland doesn't seem to be moving. He seems to be quite happy to stay there. Again, the right to the body. Buckland's calling him in, saying, Come on, let's have a go. Comey is known as a relentless puncher. Maybe Buckland's trying to get him to punch himself out. Mene. That's it. Comey just throws non-stop. Once he gets you going, he wants you out of there. I mean, that's obviously his style, but there is a worry, perhaps, that he could punch himself out, and he's certainly had a rest since that burst. And Buckland's been quite happy to let him rest, and it is hot. It has been at a furious pace. We are six rounds. This is round seven. We're halfway through. And yeah, Buckland's got it back on the ropes now. That's where Buckland wants him. It's a good person coming. I think that's that's got him the round, certainly. Certainly. Definitely, yeah, it's definitely got him the round so far. It's about 20 seconds to go of this round. Buckland marching across the ring this time, trying to meet him. And he's pushing Comey back again to the ropes this time. A 
I got to clear around for Comey in that round and Buckling mouth sank to his corner as he walked back. Yeah, we see it here. We got Kami ahead. I've got Kami three rounds ahead, picking up the last three. I had the first four even, one apiece and two draws. Buckland's up on the stall, nice and early. So round eight. Now we'll find out about the condition of these fighters, Mene. Certainly will do. It's been a good pace so far. Buckland had his rest round. Let's see what he's got now. Comedy come out of a hard burst early on. And he had, at towards the end of the round, he sort of got his breath back. So let's see what comes with now. He was catching Buckland with shots, but Buckland didn't seem overly concerned with it. Although he seemed to be obviously concerned by the amount of shots coming in. There was no shots that you'd seen he was hurt. In the end, Buckland was calling him on he was. and calling him in. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes on and Buckland again coming forward. But it's, it's changed from the beginning of the fight. Buckland had him on the ropes and was pushing away. Now she will slow the pace down. He's could see it coming anymore. One two just missing there from Buckland and Buckland's just got to try and get back of that right hand and again that he had success in that's what Twitter picked up as well. That's what we mentioned before as well that when he dips over to that left he can wing that right hand over and he has caught Commie with it. Even if you threw a jab to the body, you threw a right hand over the top. Nice work from Comey there, some good shots, and Buck can come back with a ferocious shot of his own. There comes a six punch combination from Comey there, some getting through, but majority over on the gloves. But they certainly fit these guys, Comey's certainly in shape. Certainly. And the way Comey throws them sharp combinations in, like you say, just relentless. And Comey's obviously in the home corner. I think it's the first time I've known a Ghanaian to be in the home corner. So Goodwin Promotions and Mickey Amu is putting some effort and time into Richard Comey. They obviously believe in him. He's fought on Goodwin shows a couple of times. Like I say, Mickey, Mickey Amu the guy that's brought him over here with his coach and looking to help him realise his dreams and nice right hand from Buckland there just seemed to stiffen the legs of Comey just rocked his head back but he seems okay the right hand again from Buckland good little burst from Buckland there Comey comes back with a burst of his own and you hit me I hit you kind of scenario it is tit for tat about 30 seconds left of the round this is round 8 Who did you give this round to so far? It's difficult. Maybe Buckland because of the, the shots he's thrown and and there he's caught he's caught Comey a couple of times with a couple of stiff shots, so I'd probably give this round to Buckland so far in my car. But again, they're all so close. You you couldn't you you couldn't argue if they'd gone sort of either way either sometimes. Way. I think Comey's won the last three quite clearly. I think I'd give that round to Buckland.
Okay, so this could be interesting. As pointed out by our cameraman Christian away to our right here. This is the first time Richard Comey has seen round nine. He's never gone beyond eight. So this is the first time he's seen round nine. This might have been part of Buckland's game plan, Manais, to take him into the rounds. And it is psychological. It can have an effect. So we'll see how the fight pans out from here. And a right hand from Comey. And a nice right to the body. He's had success in that right hand to the body. Right hand, that was a good shot there from Comey, but Buckland seemed to take it okay. He seems to come back when he gets hit with the shot. Nice left hook from Buckland there. Sweeping left hook there. It's close, it's tit for tat. It They're exchanging one blow for another. Great little fight, great small haul. It shouldn't be small haul, it should be televised. This We are being streamed live on Boxing Evolution. There is a TV card. It's a shame that the fans missed out on that tonight, but obviously picking it up on BoxingEvolution.tv. Nice right hand from Buckland there. Good movement from Comey. Looking for that body of Buckland. I'm surprised Buckland hasn't tried to work the body more, as we mentioned earlier. Just tried to break down the long frame of... Yeah, I would have thought that, but Comey seems to be doing it to Buckland and find some good body shots. Nice right hand from Buckland there. Comey took it well, doesn't seem to be hurt by it, but it was a sharp right hand, and he gets caught again. As you say, it's round nine, he's never seen this, so it'll be interesting to see how Comey thing. Nice right hand to the body there. He set that up very nice too, and again. He's, looking for, he's had some success with that, and he's looking for that a lot. We've got about a minute left of the round. Buckland coming back over left. It's a hard round this. Buckland's had some good shots, but so's Comey. Buckland's landed the right hands to the head. Comey's had a few good right hands to the body. Who have you got ahead, Mane, in this in this round? I think in this round, I would, so far, I've edged, just about edge it to Comey. Now. Nice left of the body there from Buckland. Just waiting to see from Wales. I say former. British champion, but down at super featherweight, Gary Buckland, former super featherweight prize fighter champion as well. So Comey is naturally the bigger man. That could have an effect as we go into the later rounds. There is a boxing sale that uh, a good big E beats a good small E. That's it. Comey still needs to be careful with his hands. That right hand still touches him sometimes. Interesting round, have you scored that one? You give it to Comey. I score that a draw. I thought it was some. Yeah, I thought Buckland got some good right hands in. I thought Comey worked the body very, very well. I thought Buckland got a few shots to the head sharp. Again, either way, well, I've got that on a draw. You've got so you've got Comey three ahead. I've got him two ahead. Coming into round ten. Yeah, both guys are trained very hard and we'd expect it to. Look, this is for the vacant Commonwealth title. It's a big title. We'd expect them to come in shape. We've got two excellent professionals here. Gary Buckland, he's never coming out of shape. He is a true, true professional. And Tommy always makes the weight. I was speaking to Mickey yesterday and he says he always makes the weight no problem. He looks like a hard trainer too. So full credit. So we're coming into round 10. The pace is still high. Good shots from Buckland. We're being trained to a classic. Good exchange of shots there. See, that's what Comedy needs to do. Just keep flicking out. Flicking the shot out. Nice work there from Comedy. Just slipping around. Buckland comes back with slips of his own. Nice left hook to the head there from Buckland. Very 
expressionist commie, isn't he? Doesn't really. Shows and Buckland as well, I suppose. They're both Poker sort face. of two unemotional guys. They were both very respectful at the weigh-in yesterday. Referee just having a little word now. Back of the heads and the shoulders, he's just giving them a warning for. About a minute 45 to go this round. Nice right hand from Commie now. A left hook there just as Commie has Bucker through his right hand and he's got Buckland up. And this is what he does is his barrage of punches and a wild left hook from Buckland just missing there, Mene. Just missing. As soon as Commie catches you, he goes rallying. He's got to be careful though, Commie, on the attack from a big swing like that because we know he can get hit with the right hand. Buckland's done it a few times tonight. But you can see when Commie's got him hurt and the barrage of punches, yeah, he does throw a lot of punches, doesn't he? He does throw a lot of punches. Nice work there from Buckland. Both guys are terribly fit. Incredible, isn't it? Incredible. Nice right hand there from Buckland. Yeah, good right hand back from Buckland. Good shot from Buckland. He's working on the right tonight. Picking the body up coming out of it. Straight up from the middle. Oh, he's on there. He's on the head, Buck. So good how you scoring it so far, Manny? I'll say Conley's just edging it. Just been slightly busier in this round, hasn't it? Just been... Very fit, Conley. Very fit. Throws a lot of punches. Changing south point now. Could cause some problems, couldn't it? Just a little bit something different from Salok. Just missing with that left hand there. Good round to Conley, that one. So round 11, two rounds to go. I've got Commie myself. I've got Commie three rounds up. I've got Buckland needing both of these rounds to get a draw and knock down to get a win. How are you scoring it, Mane? I'll give it the one extra round to Commie of yours. And I see, I see that Richard Commie did a little dance as he went back to the corner. So it's obviously grinding confidence that he's winning the fight. Or he thinks he's winning the fight. This may be the first time he doesn't get a knockout, though. This is it. It could be. I haven't seen him, you know, he's pressured Buckland, but I haven't seen Buckland really, really hurt at all. He's been off balance a couple of times, but I don't think he's ever been dazed or... Nice right hand, that was better from Comey. That stiffened him a little bit. He dropped his hands to say he wasn't hurt, but that caught his attention. Did catch him, did catch him. He just pours the jabs out sometimes, Comey, doesn't he? Doesn't, like I say, he's not a concussive puncher, but... Throw shots from weird yeah. angles, doesn't he? Different yeah. angles, doesn't he? Whipping them in all the time. He'll, he'll pull your jab and throw a straight right, like it's like a, a stiff right hand down the right. Back of the head there from Buckland. Two warnings, back of the head. Taking a point off, but hitting on the back of the head. He doesn't need that on my card, that puts him four rounds behind now with a point off if you give him this round. And oh, Buckland needs a knockdown now to. Definitely, he's climbing the mini mountain at the minute. Good left hook from Buckland and a nice right uppercut and good movement from Comey there and Buckland with a couple of right hands. Comey quite happy to sit back on the ropes. Nice right hand there from both Comey and Buckland landing at the same time.
pace has slowed down a little bit, expectedly, because these guys have been going at it. Absolutely, and I think they're mindful that they've got the 12th round going up, and the 12th round always tends to be mental for the first minute and a half, and a nice bit of dancing there from Richard Cummings. Clash their heads, it looks like, as he's rubbing his head. About 30 minutes to go. Sorry, about 30 seconds to go, rather, of the round. Did you give this round to comedy? Yeah, I think he's been... It's a good right hand there for Brucker. Yeah, I think he's just been a little bit busier this round. Again, it's very, very close. Especially with the, the point away, I think you'd have to give it to Comey for obviously Buckley having a point deducted. Good little body shot there from Buckland. Pushing Comey nice on the ropes. Nice double, triple left hook there from Buckland. And again, and a right Good hook shot. there from Buckland. Comey fights quite well off the ropes. Yeah, he seems comfortable there, doesn't yeah. he? I mean, I thought along the way he was in a boxy distance and... Especially for someone with that type of long build. Well, in one round's times, we will know. We will know who it is. I think Pompey is up quite comfortably on our scorecard, or my scorecard, I should say. So a standing ovation here from what has been an electric fight. The crowd in appreciation for what they've seen and this is it. We've got Comi ahead by four or five rounds if you count the, the point deduction. We've got Bucker needing a knockout. Some of the rounds have been closed. We give some of them a draw but I think Comi towards the end just started to pull away. Nice shots there from Comi. Body work and then head work. So here we go. It hasn't caught fire the last round as much as I thought it was going to. I thought Buckland was going to come out and really try and hurt him in this round. That's what I thought as he got point deducted and I think he would know that he's maybe a couple of rounds down. Does he, does he think he's ahead though? Does he come into the last round thinking he's ahead? I mean the rounds have been close. It's certainly the close. first five or six rounds are very close. There's a good exchange there. Nice right uppercut from Comey and a right hand there. Comey spins away, nice jab there from Comey, and again a nice little screw shot from him now. Buckland I think just needs to press, that's a nice right hand and just seemed to stiffen the leg slightly of Comey, and a left hook from Buckland there as well. We have to remember this is the first time Comey has been to these deep waters, Gary Buckland knows that. We've got about a minute left of the round, just over a minute left, we've got Buckland behind, we need him to Throw shots is a good right hand there from Buckland just missing. Have you got this round to, Mene? I thought you could do it to Buckland so far. It's looking tired, come in. Uppercut there from Buckland just missing. Three long shots again there. Nice right uppercut. Right hand just missing from Buckland. The left hook getting in there. We've got about 20 seconds left of the round. Just over 20 seconds left. First guy Buckland will be going for broke. Throwing everything and the kitchen seat. I thought he would have thrown a bit more. Mate, I say, but maybe they think they're ahead. Maybe in their corner they think they're ahead. And, or maybe he just doesn't have the answers. Maybe he's trying. 
Good shot there towards the end, and it's just caught a light at the end. And Buckland a bit all over the place. The ref's having a word with him now. Coming into the last 10 seconds. And I've got Comey taking the title home. Buckland's corner think they've got it. Comey's corner think they've got it. I think Comey's got that. I think Comey's got it by about four rounds in my card. Cracking fight though. Both guys show brilliant heart, determination and fitness. Both a credit to British boxing. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. And Ghanaian boxing end as well. He's done, he's done Ghana proud tonight. And Gary Buckland has done Wales proud. He is a true champion, is Gary Buckland. He's a true fighter. But we've got it as Commie on our scorecard. So we just wait for the judges to piece it together and let us know how it's gone. So thanks for tuning in via boxingevolution.tv today. Thank you for the Daily Sport for the sponsorship on Boxing Evolution TV. Thank you for the tweets that have been coming in. We've got So we have got Brett Beaton coming up after this fight as well. And we're just waiting for the judges to add up the scorecards and we'll find out. Well we definitely got a new Commonwealth champion as it's a vacant title, as I say. Relinquished by Derry Matthews, or stripped, should I say? So I believe he was stripped in the end, or I can't remember if he vacated or if he was stripped. I think he was stripped, of, stripped it. of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, So 117-111, 117-111 and 118-110. We have a new Commonwealth lightweight champion and that is Ghanaian Richard Comey after a great fight with Gary Buckland. And that's pretty much as we scored it, Mene, and a great, great fight. Oh, a cracking fight. Both players so fit and determined. You know, it's brilliant, brilliant for the boxing fan.